everyone. Welcome to today's design series. I'm on the road heading out to, well, I'm actually at Annapolis Mall already. I am just driving around looking for some parking um, because there's a couple of places that I want to visit today. Number one on my list of places to visit is uh, Crate and Barrel. And while I'm out here, probably stop by Pottery Barn since they're very close to each other. There is a lot that um, I can get accomplished today and I've started working on a design plan incorporating different furnishings based on the um, living room, dining room, as well as master suite. And I just wanna make sure that I'm covering all the bases. I picked out some things online and one of the things that I like to do is test how well what I shopped for online matches up to what's actually in the store. So I wanna see if, if some of those selections are actually here. That'll help me to validate my choices and it'll also help you to validate your choices too as you're learning how to pull together your space plan before you, you go out and spend a lot of money. So I am here now um, and I am getting ready to find a parking space. I'm really happy today that um, there is not a lot of traffic out here. And so I am going to try to find me a spot to park at. And then I will catch back up with you. See you in a minute. the things that I have to do when I'm recording these videos in the store is to detach the audio because music is playing and I don't want to get a copyright but I am walking through the store as you can see here and what I have with me is my clipboard that I've used in order to pull together the designs that we're going to be or the furnishings and decor pieces that we're going to be looking for and in this particular case we're looking for a sofa that I located on the site and now I am walking through the store in search of this particular piece of furniture and of course as I'm walking through the store I'm taking note of decor items and other pieces of furniture that might work well in this design project. One of the things that I discovered as I was walking through the store was that there were several options that really could fit in this project. And so I wanted to capture that video so that if I'm reviewing this with you and we're going over the options that we've selected, I also take this as an opportunity to identify alternatives as well. Now, as you see, now as you can see here, I have found several possible options. And then out of the corner of my eye, I noticed a I noticed a table that I was interested in. And what I wanted to do was verify the diameter. And a lot of times when you are doing this, say for example, I have forwarded you the items that we're working into the design project, but then you want to go out on your own and you want to make some selections and bring in some ideas that you have. I'm also showing you some of the technique. And so that's why I always carry a tape measure with me in order to validate the dimensions. And if, for example, we needed a 48 diameter dining table in one of the design um, spaces, this would give you a little food for thought. And over there in the corner, of course, there was another one, but it was just a different color option. Now, a lot of times stores will use your beige sofas for a neutral palette throughout the store for symmetry and balance, but they will also include different swatches to give you options. And of course, I my eye was drawn to these wing chairs and I had to stop and take a look in order to show you 
how you can bring in a pair of wing chairs if this is your style. Even if you're a little conservative or classic or modern, the leather gives it that modern feel. And of course, the upholstery and how the tacks are on these pieces really give it that classic look as well. Of course, I have expensive taste, so um, as you can see the price there. However, again, depending on what your budget is, the goal is not to put a lot of expensive pieces into your design. It's actually designed to show you how things would look in the space. I've also included several photos of images that I wanted to be able to match up against some of the leather swatches that I was able to get while I was on this visit. I've met up with an associate who can help me tie together my look. See what the tone looks like. Yes. Um, you yeah. can certainly see why you picked out that wine tower. Yeah. That's really nice. And then, what is the status on that one for the um, coffee table? Check out the spindle. Oh, and for that mm -hmm. bar, it also comes this way with the nickel finish and the light. And it's really, it looks like a different wood, but I'm pretty sure it's the same, although I haven't seen this. What about the legs on this chair? I mean, on this table? This only comes this way. On that way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This is a new, but you can't display the wine, but that's a new one, but kind of goes mm -hmm. maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. But I can see why you picked that up because that would look really good with this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. That one, that would look really good. Yeah. That's too bad. You don't think that. Yeah. There is this all open one too. Yeah, I like that one. So this one on the ar um, archive. There is an end table, console table, and a coffee table. You probably noticed that. Mm -hmm. There are five of these and they are on reorder. Okay, cool. All right, good to know. All right, wonderful. So let me show you, I know you want to go to the other store, but so I can, as a designer, I, I do these full plan things, but I can assist you. Okay. So I can help you um, with putting our pieces in. And then when you come up with pieces from our store, mm -hmm. I can do mood boards to help you oh, kind of nice. sell it to your customer or your sure. client or help them feel more confident. Yeah. yeah I just yeah. can't put other pieces into the Yeah, boards. yeah. That's the um, thing about being a freelancer. I can kind yes, of hop yeah. around. But yes. it's good to have a contact. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? So, so I'm happy to assist okay. you and help you, Perfect. you know, be successful with your client. Thank you. And can I give you my card? Yes, and let me give you mine too. Thank you so much for your help. Yep, sure. So happy to help you. Yes. I was only able to hang out at the Potty Rebound for a short minute, but while I was there, though, what I, one of the things that I wanted to do was look at specific decor pieces that can be incorporated into a design palette that is um, more of a laid back palette. Specifically, I wanted to look at some of the beach, beach type decor items that they had here on display. This section here caught my eye and I have a couple of clients in mind that I wanted to make sure got an opportunity to see some of the display items that they have and they actually have a nice collection of pieces that you could sprinkle in your design if, if that's your jam. My final stop, which was a little surprise, I decided to take a look in the Z Gallery and what I love about the Z Gallery is that they have so many beautiful pieces for your wall wall art and decor pieces are essential to a design project and because they have such a variety of different types of objects I wanted to give you a glance of how those items can be incorporated into your space. While I was at Crate and Barrow I was looking for a wine cart or wine tower and they just happen to have one here at the Z Gallery. But in addition to that, I was also drawn to this royal blue color. Saw this color and immediately thought of a client that is drawn to this particular color. Not the blue house that we're actually reviewing. 
However, blue happens to be one of those colors that I think a lot of people are drawn to because of the calmness of it. But here in the Z Gallery, as you can see, you can really bling it out and take it to another level. And I love this store because, especially around the holidays, you can change out your tablescape, add a little bling to your table setting for those special holidays. And if you want to get some inspiration, this is the place to come to for that inspiration. And all year round, they have beautiful displays. And so if you haven't had an opportunity to come to the Z Gallery, this is definitely the store to visit. I hope you enjoyed Design Tour Part 2 of the Design Series, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.